Let's go to the Word of God. Genesis chapter 41. Genesis chapter 41. Can we all stand for the reading of the Word, please? Now, what I'm going to do, I, I, I would like us to... Uh, it's a long story, but I will... I will tell you probably to skip certain verses. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe to go to other verses. Okay, let's, let's read. We're reading the book of Genesis 41, um, verse 1. Then it came to pass at the end of two full years that Pharaoh had a dream, and behold, he stood by the river. Okay, now I want you to mark something as well. The Bible says that then it came to pass. Somebody says it, it came but to pass. Okay, then you continue, yes. Suddenly there came up out of the river seven cows, fine-looking and fat, and they fed in the middle. Then behold, seven other cows came up after them out of the river, ugly and gaunt, and stood by the other cows on the bank of the river. And the ugly and gaunt cows ate up the seven fine-looking and fat cows. So Pharaoh awoke. He slept and dreamed a second time, and suddenly seven heads of grain came up on one stalk, plump and good. Then behold, seven thin heads, blighted by the east wind, sprang up after them. And the seven thin hands devoured the seven plump and full heads. So Pharaoh awoke, and indeed it was a dream. Now it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled, and he sent and called for all the magicians of Egypt and all its wise men. And Pharaoh told them his dreams, but there was no one who could interpret them for Pharaoh. Then the chief butler spoke to Pharaoh, saying, I remember my faults this day. When Pharaoh was angry with his servants and put, and put me in custody in the house of the captain of the guard, both me and the chief baker, we each had a dream in one night, he and I. Each of us dreamed according to the interpretation of his own dream. Now there was a young Hebrew man with us there, a servant of the captain of the guard, and we told him, and he interpreted our dreams for us. To each man he interpreted according to his own dream. And it came to pass just as he interpreted for us. So it happened. He restored me to my office, and he hanged him. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him quickly out of the dungeon, and he shaved, changed his clothing, and came to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, I have had a dream, and there is no one who can interpret it, but I have heard it said of you that you can understand a dream to interpret it. So Joseph answered Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. God will give Pharaoh an answer of peace. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Behold, in my dream I stood on the bank okay. of the river. Pharaoh is, is repeating dreams too much. Now go to verse 41. So he's telling the dream now. The Bible told us the dream now. He's telling us the same thing. Okay, then go to verse 41. Verse 41. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you over all, all the land of Egypt. <laughs> then Pharaoh took his sign and ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand. Yeah. And he clothed him in garments of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. Yes. And he had him ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried out before him, Bow the knee. So he set him over all the land of Egypt. He set what? He set him over the land of Egypt. Over the land. So Joseph began to rule over Egypt. He began to rule like a king in Egypt in a foreign land. Yes, yeah, continue. Pharaoh also had said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without your consent, no man may lift his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphneth Penei, and he gave him as a wife Aseneth, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of On. So Joseph went over all the land of Egypt. Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Mm. And Joseph went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Egypt. So he was in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Father, we thank you. And we give you praise, and we give you glory, and we give you honor, and we thank you for the opportunity of preaching your word. 
In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You may be seated. Um, the work of the pastor, the work of the pastor is to interpret dreams. Is to enhance abilities and capabilities of people and spiritually is to play a spiritual role to shoot people to their destiny. That is my duty. In Israel, the Bible tells us clear that when God wanted to bless the people of Israel, he would bless them through the priests. Then he would tell the priests that this is how you should bless the people of Israel. You should say to the people of Israel, the Lord bless you, the, the Lord shine his face upon you, the Lord give you favor. Favor is influence, and favor leads to rulership and dominion. So, the work of the priest is to um, as well interpret, interpret dreams for the people. In other words, when you come with, you're frustrated and uh, uh, you have no direction in your life, if you are in the church, you are in the right place. Are you hearing me? Like for, let me make an example. Um, Minister Mzava, when he came, into, he came to South Africa, he was not born again. When he came to South Africa, he got born again. He came to Rafa, and he happened to be part of the decoration, and they used to use a lot of fabric at that time, right? Developed the love for fabric. Then he ended up getting a skill to sew curtains and things like that. Then, he, then then it ended up to like doing blinds and things like that. So are you hearing this now? So it was in the church. <laughs> he developed that. But now he's running a company that does the blinds to houses. And white people love him. You know, they, they call him, they, they refer him to one another or something like that. You see? So, but it started in the church. I want you to understand that uh, serving in the church sometimes can catapult you to your destiny. You can serve in the media and end up owning a media company. You know, you can, you can be an usher and, and end up having a security. I'm, I'm joking, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what would you have, but anything you can have, right? <laughs> so, the Bible tells us that Pharaoh had a dream, and he got frustrated with the dream that he had. He couldn't interpret it, but he was troubled by the dream. And at the time that jo uh, uh, Pharaoh was troubled by the dream, Joseph was in the, in the prison. In other words, let's look at this. The life of Joseph was going down while the king on the throne was troubled and did not know how to interpret what he saw in his dream. He had a dream, but he could not interpret it. It troubled him, but he had no answer to the dream. But on the other hand, the life of Joseph was going down. So, are you hearing that? You see? So, I, I, want, I want you to understand this. That when your life is going down, it does not mean that it's the end of the road. When your life is going down, when you have no direction in your life, it does not mean that it will always end like that. And the Bible tells us that Joseph had a gift and he used his gift, but his gift did not work for him, but it worked for other people. There was a butler who was serving Pharaoh and all of those things. He interpreted his dream and said, you're going you're gonna to get out of, 
of here when he, he said, this is what I dreamt. He interpreted the dream and the guy. Listen, I wanted to understand something. That the manifestation of the dreams with all these guys, the butler and the cup bearer, did not come to pass until the interpretation was brought into sin. All right? So when their dreams were interpreted, then the fulfillment of the dreams came true. It's like now, Pharaoh, then Joseph had to, to interpret the dream, and then things started to happen. All right? So now, look at this. Using the gift for other people and benefiting nothing is an investment. Joseph interpreted dreams for people. He helped people. They got out of the situation he was stuck in. And Joseph did not hold back to say that I will interpret this and this person will get out of jail and I'm stuck in jail. Can you be able to help people with what you need? Can you be able to help people to get out of the situation that you are praying to get out of? I'm not sure if you understand what I'm trying to say to you. No, forgive me, I'm preaching a left-handed message today. All right. So, uh, uh, God. People don't understand this. As a pastor, you don't have to be a millionaire in order to produce millionaires. You don't, have to be, you don't have to be a president to take people out of jail. Joseph took people out of jail, but he remained in jail. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say to you. When you are anointed for something, you can take people from poverty and remain in poverty. God will give a solution to somebody who's looking for the same solution, and God will test your heart if you are committed to your assignment or you are committed to your greed or desire. Oh, are you what I'm trying to say to you? As a pastor, to those who will pastor the branches of CKLI, as a pastor, you have to wish for people to be successful. You have to wish for people to drive good cars while you drive skorokoro. And you have to bless cars and bless them from your heart and, 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 and get excited for the people and, and, and thank God and pray that they will be blessed even more while you don't see blessing around your life. Because you are not just committed to your desires, but you are committed to your assignment. I wish I could talk to you. Are you what I'm trying to say to you? The Bible says Joseph dreamt he dreamt, his, he dreamt his mother and father bowing to him, and he dreamt his, 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 his brothers bowing to him. He dreamt all these things, but there was nothing that looked like that he was a ruler at that time. In fact, at that time, he was more hated. He had more problems. He had more uh, uh, negative attitudes that were shown to him. But he had a dream. He knew that I am destined to reign, but there was nothing in him around him that showed that he was going to reign one day. But he held on to the dream. So, tell, touch somebody and say, hold on to the dream. Yeah. Hold on, to the, hold on to the dream. He was, he was put in the, beat, in the pit, but he held on to the dream. He was hated, but he, he held on to the dream. He was put into prison, but he held on to the dream. Because if God shows you something, you have to, deal, you have, you have to stick to it. You have to stick to it. I, when I was a young man, I dreamt 
preaching to people, and, 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 and I did not understand because I was young, but I saw myself speaking to many people, speaking to people, speaking to people. It did not just come like that. It's still going to get fulfilled more, speaking to the crowd. But guess what? This thing was in me. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was in me. I kept on seeing it, and I believed in my heart that God was going to fulfill what I saw. Are you kidding me? God is going to fulfill what you saw. And many of you, you think that you are just desiring. It's not a desire. It's not just an ordinary desire. God will give you the desires of your heart. In other words, God will give you what to desire. You, you know, you don't just want to be a millionaire, but it's God that has put the desire in you. You just don't want to, to own the big company, but it's God that has given you that desire. It's not that you just love catering, but it's God that gave you that desire. God will give you the desire. Like Joseph had a desire to interpret the dreams of people and this thing was driving him he interpreted the he interpreted the dreams of the people when he was in chain he still interpreted the dreams when he was in the palace it does not make it did not matter where he was he still operated now touch your neighbor and say operate are you what I'm trying to say to you God has given you the desire God has given you the dream and you keep on seeing it. And, the, and the, I can I tell you something. When the dream is not fulfilled, what happens is that you keep on being dissatisfied. Pharaoh was restless. Pharaoh was not satisfied. Because when the dream hits your life, you will be restless. Are you trying, I'm trying to say it here? People say, this is the nice car. But you know, this is not my level. This is not what I, I desire. People say that you've got a good salary. But you know this is not my level this is not I wish I could talk to you if you have a, a dream you keep on celebrating but you are not you don't feel satisfied you are content you thank God but you are not satisfied because there is more more in you you desire more, not because you are, not because you are greedy, because something inside is strong. Something is driving you because you are created for a great destiny. Touch your neighbor and say, something is moving within me. Something is moving within me. I drive this car, but I know this is not my level. I eat this food, but I know this is not it's the standard of life. I live in this house, but I know this is not me. I read, but this is not me. I know that I'm bigger than this. I know that I'm better than this. I know that I'm going further than this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have the qualification, but I know that I'm better than this. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You are an owner of the company. That's why every promotion they give to you, you are not, you celebrate, but you are not totally satisfied because you are greater than what they give you. Are you what I'm trying to say to you? Somebody say, I have a dream. Sit down. I have a dream. If you have a dream, the dream will control you. Yes, Lord. The dream will control you. Yes, Lord. The dream will, will choose for you. Uh, you, you have no understand. You, you have no understand. Let, let, if you have a dream, I, 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 have a, I have a dream of a mega church. I have a dream of a mega church. So now what happens, everything to me must match what I see. Uh, I, I, I'm connected to excellence because of the dream. There are things I don't like. There are things I don't appreciate. There are things that people will say is a privilege, but I will see it as a demise because it's suffocating the dream that I have. 
Now, now the issue is this. If you have a dream, you frustrate people. I can wake up in the morning and one day and say, I don't want this sound, I need a new sound. No, I'm not saying I, I, I'm not there yet, but I know it's coming. Are you hearing me now? So, 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 I, I, I may say, I don't like this carpet, I need a new one, or whatever. Because something is driving me. And I keep on seeing myself in different stages of life. And it's not me. But it's something that God has put in me. I'm trying to say to you this morning, you are normal. I'm trying to say to you, you are not greedy. We are not greedy. I'm here to t tell you that no, you don't love material things. It's not because you love material things. No, no, no. It's because you are bigger than where you are. You are bigger than what you experience. Are you hearing that I'm trying to say to you? You are better than where you are. The dream. Huh. Can I tell you something? How many of you know that when you dream, you, when you dream, you are not in control? Yeah. Have you ever dreamed? How oh, I'm in this house and, and it's home, but your home does not look like the home you saw in the dream. But in the dream, you were at home. I dream driving this car and find that it's a better car than the car you drive. But in the dream, it felt like yours. Dream will control you. When you dream, you don't control your environment. What is inside you or what you dream controls everything. Now, I'm sorry about the good dreams now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some dreams that we used to dream when we are young. You dream your friends with your friends, and they say, please, please, wait for me. I'm just going to pee, you know. Then, 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 and then you dream you pee and then when you say aha you finished when you wake up in the morning I'm telling that the dream will control you and the dream will control the outcome you are not in charge are you what I'm trying to say to you the dream will control the outcome. CKLI, we are an excellent church. We are an international church. We are the church. We are the church of millionaires. The church of the academics. The church of doctors. The church of influencers. We are the church of smart people, of dreamers, of company owners we are the I'm trying to tell you something is controlling us <laughs> no we are not proud no don't 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 miss and don't misinterpret it for pride uh, we are not proud something is controlling us and what is controlling us is from God. And we will become everything that God wants us to be. And we will be everything that God wants us to be. Are you I'm trying to say it here? Some of you are called to business. And you are the business moguls. You are the business gurus. And some of you are called to academia. And you are going to be the Joseph in the academia. You are... You are going to own universities. You are going to own colleges because you are called in that area. And that is the dream that God has given to you. Church and heaven say it's a calling. 
It's a calling. It's a calling. I'm called to be better. I'm called to be moneyed. I'm called to be an influencer. I'm called to own universities. I'm to own businesses. I'm called to own schools. Some of you will change the system, the education system of this country. It's in your hands. You will change it. Take care of the dream. Take care of the dream. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say to you? Take care of the dream. Some of you, you're going to be in entertainment industry. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be the Tyler Perry of our times. You know, you, you, you are called to change. You, you are a kingdom person, but you are going there and you're going to make, you're going to make a mark. They cannot be able to mention the people who are influencers in that area or in that in, in, in industry without mentioning your name. I'm here to say this morning, do not give up. Some of you, you are Uber owners. You think you, think you are Uber, but... <laughs> are you hearing what I'm trying to say to you? You'll be a transportation business owner that your, 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 you know, you're thinking of South Africa. In America, your transportation will be there. In Zambia, it will be there. Everywhere it will be. Are you what I'm trying to say to you? You'll be cashing, you'll be cashing millions of dollars a month. God said this morning, I must challenge you that you are not hallucinating when you dream big. It is God who has given you that dream. Are you clear what I'm trying to say to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, I know, I know there's a grace of property ownership in this house. There are property owners in this house. You will start with one room and end up with a house and end up with five houses and end up with 10 houses and end up with hundreds and flats. God said, I must tell you that the dreams you dream are not too big but they are tailored for you they are not too big Joseph as a young man dreaming ruling maybe it was too much for his mind but it was never too much for his destiny this is not too much for your destiny. It's not too much for your destiny. It's not too much for your destiny. Now, the amazing thing is this. It is through our dream that we dominate in life. Joseph became a father to Pharaoh. Joseph became an owner of the land of Egypt. Pharaoh says, nobody can take decision in my country without you, Joseph, approving it. I want you to go to work and know that you are Joseph. I want you to go to school and know that you are Joseph wherever you are, and know that you are there to rule and dominate. And don't look down at, on yourself. Now, we'll speak maybe probably next week. There are signs to every Joseph. If you're a Joseph, I'll speak probably about signs next week. There are signs. You find those signs in your life 
then you know that God has called you for greater things. Every Joseph has a sign. Listen to me as I close. Before you go to be with the Lord, impact this generation. Are you sure I'm trying to say to you? Impact this generation. I know I'm a leader then I have followers. But the purpose of leadership, it's not to create followers, but it's to create leaders. I'm not speaking to you as followers, but I'm speaking to you as leaders. I speak to you as people who are in charge. You have not just come to to hear, to cry, and only to raise up your hands and only feeling the presence of God and things like that. But you have come here for your dreams to be interpreted. You have come here to be bigger than what you thought. You have come here to see things that you never saw. Some of us, we come and we don't even have dreams. We are locked. But through this anointing in this house, I unlock every dream. I unlock every dream. I unlock every desire. I unlock every, everything, everything. Everything that you have ever dreamt to be in the name of Jesus Christ. If, are you what I'm trying to say to you? I unlock it in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are better than where you are. I decree that doors are opening for you in Jesus' mighty name. I decree that you are an influencer. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ that you are managed. I decree that you own properties. I decree that you own your own substance in this life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. You know what? All what you need is what? All what Joseph needed was to enter in Egypt. That's all what he needed. That's all what he needed. All what you need is just a footage on business. Just one foot on one foot on business. That's all what you need. Just one foot in the university. That's all what you need. Just one foot in, in school. That's all what you need. Then the rest will be history. I am prophesying in the name of Jesus that you are in the process and you are in the journey of great destiny. You are in the journey of becoming something bigger, something powerful, something humongous in the name of Jesus. You are in the right place. If you say that you are a sweeper, you are in the right place. You are sweeping in the right company. Are you hear what I'm trying to say to you? But God has the power of taking Joseph from the prison into the palace. God has the power of taking Mordecai from the, from the gate into the palace. God has the power of taking David from the, from the tending ship into being the king in the palace of the people. God has the power of taking Mephibosheth from Lodeba into the Jerusalem, the palace. God has the power of changing nobodies to be somebody's. God has the power. God has the power. You miss education, but God will still do it. You miss opportunities, but God will still do it. You missed your ten, but God will still do it. God has the power.
Rakata Bashada Kadabo Sata Kadaba Sataya. Hey Lambra Katabu Sata Kataya. Rakabam. I thank God for the privilege of pastoring great people. I thank God for pastoring the people that will make a, a difference, that will make impact in this generation. I thank God for trusting me with greatness. God has trusted me with greatness. And my duty is to unlock every greatness that comes under my leadership. Every greatness that comes under my leadership. Come on, somebody begin to pray. Begin to thank God. Begin to pray. Come on, begin to pray. Every greatness, every greatness, every greatness, every greatness, every greatness, every destiny. In the name of Jesus, Father, I unlock it. 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 I break every curse in the name of Jesus. I break every limitation in the name of Jesus. I break, I break, I remove every stumbling block in the name of Jesus. I clear the way to your destiny in the name of Jesus. I open every closed door in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. No witchcraft shall be able to prosper over your life. No curses shall be able to prosper over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, no enemies shall be able to have victory over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, no hatred shall be able to stop you. In Jesus' mighty name, no gossip shall be able to pull you down. In the name of Jesus Christ, Rakataba, I speak life over you. 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 I speak life over you.
glory and the leaf turn off my head you are the shield for me my glory and the leaf turn off my head your presence we more than the thousands against me this thing is settled yes i am blessed yes i am favored What a powerful word that was. I trust you were blessed as I was. To all our members who would like to send their tithes and offering, feel free to do so on the details stated on the screen. Also, to our fellow saints that would like to contribute to the work of the kingdom, you can do so on the details stated on the screen. Reach out to us for all your spiritual needs. The contact details are stated on the screen. We'll see you next week, same time, same place. Stay blessed.